Hi guys, Todd here. Today I'm supposed to be reviewing this. But I'm enjoying vaping it so much I can't be bothered. Just kidding. This is the Hit It L E B D mod. <laughs> That's force it. It'll be up in the corner here, or this corner. I can never remember which corner it is. And it's made by a company called, and I'll get this wrong. I'll read the box Anatolian Mods. Anatolian Mods. And, and this is the box, the little box that comes in. Beautiful little thing. Um, and just give you another quick look. Now this is it uh, in hybrid mode with an Origin dripper on it. Now this is an 18500 uh, atomizer <laughs> mod and uh, I heard about this. Well actually um, Stacy, a guy called Stacy got in touch with me and started telling me about it. In fact a couple of guys got in touch with me uh, so thank you to you both and uh, told me this was coming up and said that uh, they thought I would like it and uh, so I went along to the Facebook group and uh, which the details for that will be in the YouTube description um, on how to get this and everything uh, so I went along and got in touch and I went to put my name down and uh, because I liked it and uh, then he said he was going to send me one on free for review so I did a little backflip which is quite impressive for a guy of my size and uh, and lo and behold a few days later it turned up and I've been vaporing this non-stop it's just going back um, sorry to bore you here but I remember in my vaping life uh, one of the first surprises I got was with uh, a P plus and a P plus 18350 flat top and up until that point I'd had run in the mill mods and then I put an atomizer on top of this P plus when it arrived hit the fire button bang popped a coil this thing just popped coils like crazy uh, it just hit hard and this is exactly what this is like it just hits well um, Incredible mod. Now, for a get completely off track, um, going to read you some details out. The base price for this mod is hundred and sixty dollars and twenty-seven dollars for shipping. This is not a mass-produced mod. This is, uh, yeah, you know, it's made by one guy and. Uh, a lot of care and detail is going into this uh, so if, if you're looking for something that's uh, mass produced and you can just go and buy then this is not for you you will have to sign up to a list and things like that um, the actual mod itself comes in 18490 or 18500 guys like, like this and uh, you can buy extra tubes for an extra $40 and there is also a hybrid adapter which I'm using just now which is an extra $20. Um, now spec, spec I'll come back to when I do the close-ups, I'll, I'll read all that out. Um, but I'm going to have one last little vape and uh, then we'll go and take this thing to bits and you can have a look. So this is uh, what comes in the box that I showed you at the start. Uh, you've got an 18500 tube, uh, top cap and you've got the switch housing here as well. Now this is 99.5% copper. The other 0.5% uh, I think it's just fairy dust and all the magic things in the world. Uh, now please remember I've been using this uh, so it's going to be picking up 
I've just given it a quick go over with some I keep cod cloth uh, but you know being copper it's a very soft material so it will pick up light scratches but you know I could buff that out no problem at all and there we have the Anatolian uh, logo on the tube now the threading is 20 by 1 so that should be good news for a lot of folk that like to mix and match the you know hybrid gear uh, you can send your drippers and things like that you can screw straight into there you know gus top caps things like that you, know, you can they're all interchangeable if you have 20 by 1 threading this is a 22 millimeter mod so there we go there's the tube with the top cap and this is brass and you have your airflow here as well I do believe in the future once it opens up the shop for spares there you will have the option to get a flat top cap um, we have silver plated brass contacts here have your usual adjustments yeah, just for battery rattle adjust the height of the pin now there's only one issue that I've found here you know nearly every single Atty I've had screws in here no problem at all not an issue if however you have something with an extremely long 510 connector I would recommend normally you would just say unscrew you know the, the pin adjustment what I would say to you is and I'm just taking this out just to show you this piece here might be a little bit in the long side now he's aware of this and he is going to address this in uh, the future batches um, but basically I would suggest you know if you screw your atty down and you find that it's not sitting flush it could be because that little delrin piece there is just a little bit too long in here so I would suggest you, you unscrew that a bit first put your atty on screw the delrin piece in then screw the center post now I have to make clear that he is aware of this okay and uh, you know he will be addressing this in future revisions so that's it for the top cap like I said works great uh, I might to be honest I might just actually take um, just shave a little bit off the top of that delrin piece with a little bit of sandpaper and that might cure it for me but uh, once again you know he's addressing this in future batches and the uh, spares will be available uh, at a future point right here we go here's the switch now you can see that it says there hit it L E B D now it's got my serial number which is 205 and it also has my date of birth 230769 now everybody's birthday goes on the switch and you have a serial number as well there is a master spreadsheet which actually you know is going to keep a track of all the serial numbers and who owns it um, now, obviously there's people with you know birthdays on the same day so there'll be serial number 205.1 serial number 205.2 you'll never see the 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 on here but on the master spreadsheet you will so that's how they're uh, you know they keep a record of them silver plated uh, brass down here again Put your delrin piece here it's quite a simple switch uh, there's nothing really um, major to show you here uh, I'll just unscrew this there is no locking ring you see you've got your air vent there you see it there just under the delrin and it's just like a, this is a silver plated spring here again and uh, and that's it you know not a lot to it at all let's pop this in here 
we'll just pop that together like I say it's a very simple switch there's nothing major going on with here uh, this when I first got it was uh, it was quite like I said already, it's not grunchy or grinding, but it was just a bit stiff in the sides. Uh, it's actually getting better and better every time I use it. And, uh, do you know, it's a nice wee switch. Nice wee switch indeed. So, what else can I tell you? Now, height wise, height in 18350 mode is 59mm. Height in 18500 or 490 mode is 74 millimeters, and the height in 18650 mode is 90 millimeters. And this is an 18500 or 18490 battery. Is kick compatible? Uh, all the tubes are actually hand turned. They're not CNC'd. They're uh, you know done in a hand lathe. Um, and even the top cap and the bottom cap. Um, it's 2D CNC, you know, there's no computers involved at all. Um, so, it's quite nice. Right, uh, I think what we'll do is I will take my Origin Dripper here just now. And I'm going to screw this down. Uh, I'm just going to undo this. All of it, you can see I'm unscrewing the Delrin piece as well just now. Screw that down, that's fine, that's making contact. And then adjust for battery rattle. That's it, it's working fine. Just so you get an idea how far I press it before it fires. And that's it. Right, I think we'll try a voltage drop in this. Uh, just because I'm, I'm curious because of the way that it hits. So I'll get a freshly charged battery. Just to show you, that's my Origin Dripper. Uh, and it's 0 0.7 that that's reading, okay? Got 4.22, and with this on here, is that 3.89? Oh, here we go. We'll use this. This has got a 1.5 resistance at in it, or resistance at it. It's 4.04. 4.05 so there you go uh, I mean 0.6 ohm uh, I'd got, I can't God, I can't even remember now it was at 0.33 and with a 1.5 ohm resistance I'm getting 0.17 of a drop um, I have to be honest I'm quite impressed with that I mean I know normally when I put on something like a 1.5 it drops to 3.8 uh, volts under load so that's the first mod I've had where it stayed above above 4 volts on a 1.5 so I'm impressed with it but I, I wouldn't put any great stock in the, the equipment that I'm using um, you know it's just a general indicator it doesn't mean that it's exactly right it could be well out for all I know now that's that um, you will be able to order up to three top caps and switches and unlimited tubes uh, when the spares list opens up but you know that will always tie in with the serial number and date of birth that you have uh, you can't just order them for other people and that's it so there you go um, I'm now vaping it uh, once again hybrid mode with the Kfun Light Plus on it. Um, 
it just lovely looking thing. As I said, uh, the switch when I first got it, it was a little bit not it wasn't grinding or anything like that. It wasn't bad, but you could feel it. But using it over the past couple of days, uh, it's freeing up all the time and it's becoming a bit looser uh, and a lot better to use. That's a 1.6 ohm coil in that and it's, it's just performing really well. Now, pros and cons and, and so on and so forth. Right, what don't I like about this? Now, when this turns up, and I said this already, but when it turns up, you may notice some surface scratches on the copper tube. Don't worry about it. If it's just light scratches, copper's a bugger to polish and, and to, to avoid that. But uh, just take some of, you know, use a Cape Cod cloth or a bit of tomato sauce or, or, or whatever you use to clean your copper and brass. Just give it a few light wipes and it'll come out looking just brand new. Uh, in the couple of days I've had this, just it's starting to patina is starting to come through in it and you know I might leave it I might polish it up I'm not sure yet uh, what else the problem with the Delrin piece and screwing the Atty on it's it's okay with 9 out of 10 atomizers that I've tried on it it's just ones that have extra long 510 connectors on them you have to unscrew the Delrin piece as well before you screw the atty in uh, and then screw the delrin piece in then screw the the positive pin in and making adjustments as i said there will be a spares you know he's going to be opening up a spare shop once uh, all the, the mods have gone out he's opening up a spare shop so you can go along and you know he's going to be selling all these bits and bobs to upgrade or whatever so all that's covered i mean the guy i mean once you get on the facebook group the guy is on there all the time, he's listening to feedback, he's addressing any issues, it's just, it's what you would expect from a, a buying into a mod like this. I, I don't want to sound like some kind of elitist fanboy, um, but I try to think how I can put this. <laughs> you are buying a mod but you're also getting into a little community as well that's that's as best as I can put it there's loads of folk that love their mods they're all talking about them what they're doing with them if you like that kind of thing you'll love this uh, and it does appeal to me um, I don't outside that I have nothing negative to say at all um, the positives for me I love the brass and the copper uh, the switch now it's freeing up is really nice and uh, I love the hybrid adapter. Um, it is expensive, I'm not going to lie. Uh, in the grand scheme of mods and all that, it is expensive. But not when you take into account... Not just ex ex exclusivity. exclusivity. Oh, bah, uh, it's not that, it's the, it's kind of like the Caravella, I've got to be honest, it's kind of like the Caravella, there's a Caravella forum, there's all these people, they've all got their serial numbers, they've all, there's, there's that side of it, if you're into that kind of thing, then you'll love it, you really will love it. It's a good mod, if I was handed the mod and took everything else out of the equation, I would be really happy with it, uh, but it's the kind of community that's coming with it that appeals to me as well that's enough listen uh, look at the details in the the YouTube description there'll be a link to it's a closed Facebook group you have to go along and join you will not get into the group straight away you have to be accepted into that group uh, by Barbados or Barbados or 
however pronounce it, uh, he has to accept you in and then you can go in the list and all that kind of stuff. Uh, please do not be put off by what you may see as being hurdles to get one of these. Uh, it's not really hurdles. There is a list. You don't pay months in advance of getting it. You know, you pay when it's ready to go. Um, I love it. But that's the kind of thing that I love anyway. Uh, I would like to thank certain gentlemen for sending this on to me free for review. I, I really appreciate that and I'm, I'm over the moon. And, uh, you know, I hope you like it as much as I do. That's it from me, guys. All the best now. Cheers.